Welcome to another video. I need to do this problem so I can explain some of the questions that I saw in the comments of the last functional equation that I solved. There were so many comments that I saw and some of them were just not relevant to functional equations. A functional equation is not a composition. A functional equation is just an equation you need to solve. Okay, we're not talking about the domain and the range, they're not required. All you need to do in a functional equation is find what the machine, which is the function, would do to the input. I'm gonna show you how to solve this in two ways, and I hope that I can answer some of your questions. Let's get into it. The first way is the way of the masters. I'm going to say it that way because you're just looking at it. You can do some algebraic manipulation, not following the general form that I used in the previous video, and you get the same answer. So what does a function do? You would really help yourself if you understand a function to be a machine. It's just like you go to a vending machine and you put your credit card or you put your dollar bill into it or quarters into it. What does it take? When it takes that from you, what does it do to it? That's the meaning of a functional equation. What does F do to whatever you give to it? So, for example, if you give this machine X plus 1, it will convert X plus 1 into this. But you see, what it does to X plus 1 is not obvious, but we can make it obvious by doing this. Watch what I'm going to do. So I'm going to call this method one. So what does it do to x plus one? See, f of x plus one is equal to this. But I can write this in the factored form because this is a quadratic that I can factor to give me x minus one times x minus two. So that simply means whatever I give to this machine, it's still not obvious because I cannot see this x plus 1 here, but I can create this x plus 1 here. How do I do it? It's just algebra. What would I do to x plus 1 to make it x minus 1? Well, I can subtract 2 from here. So this can be written as x plus 1 minus 2. That's x minus 1. And I'm multiplying it by x plus 1. What would I do to x plus 1 to make it x minus 2? I subtract 3 from it. I have not changed what is on top here. But now it is obvious that what I gave the machine, this is what the machine did to it. It took it, subtracted 2 from it, and then multiplied it by the same thing, subtracting 3 from it. So I can boldly say, this is where you have to see the answer. That's why I call this the way of the masters. <laughs> Whatever I give to the machine, it will put it as a product. One of it, it will take 2 away from it. And the other one, it will take 3 away from it. And that's how you get this. So I can say, if I didn't give this machine x plus 1, if I give the machine x, what would it do to it to x? The same thing. f of x will be x minus 2 times x minus 3, which can show up in the form, if I distribute this, it is x squared minus 5x plus 6. That's f of x. This is actually the answer to this problem. What does f do to its input? That is what you need to find. It has nothing to do with composition. What does f do to its input? Okay. Now, this is the way of the masters. But the way I would recommend, which is uh, applicable to every uh, functional um, equation that is this simple, because this is just substitution, we're not integrating and we're not doing some crazy stuff. But if it is just this, all you have to do is, let's call this method two. We will need to do our T substitution. Okay, so we have F 
of x plus 1 is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2. Now, this doesn't look good. We want a single thing to be here, not a binomial. Okay? So, let's say, let t be equal to x plus 1. Then it means that x will be equal to t minus 1 if you move subtract 1 from both sides. So, anywhere I see x plus 1, I'm going to put t. And anywhere I see x, I'm going to put t minus 1. So let's go back here. It means f of t. Now look, the question we're asking is, t is now the input. What would this machine do to t? That's all you're being asked. Do not overcomplicate this. And what does this mean? It means that this x squared will now be, what is x now? t minus 1. Everything now is in terms of t. t minus 1 squared minus 3 times t minus 1 plus 2. If we distribute this, it's going to be t squared minus 2t plus 1. And if you distribute this, this is minus 3t. This is plus 3 plus 2. If you write this out, what does it mean? It means you have t squared minus 2t minus 3t is minus 5t. And then 1 plus 3 plus 2 is plus 6. So it means that whatever you give to f, as an input, it will first square it, and then subtract five times of it, and then add six to it. Does that look like this? It doesn't matter what letter you use as your substitution. Okay, the reason we use t is because we already used x here. We could have written this in terms of t and then used x eventually. It doesn't matter. Remember, what is here is the input. The independent variable could be any variable. Okay. Therefore, f of x equals x squared minus 5x plus 6. This is an input. This is an input. We could have used any letter. Okay, never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living.